You want to leave Giovanni because he makes you stink. You want to despise Giovanni because he's not afraid of the stink of love. Look at what you've done to me. Whenever I have to cry on set, this is what I read beforehand. <laughs> uh, when I was growing up, I was an avid reader. I mean, I still am. Whenever my parents have read a book, I like to read it after them because there's something about a worn-in book that is spectacular. It should be a perfume. But it was really my entryway into storytelling and the reason I even enjoy acting. James Baldwin, Giovanni's Room is one of my, I think currently my all time favorite book. He really is at the intersection of so many identities, whether it's him as a poet and creative or him as a black gay man in, during the civil rights movement. I, I feel so much of what we're listening to and watching is derivative of this book. I was reading it while listening to Blonde by Frank Ocean. Tears. I was sobbing on the plane. That was a lethal combination. I 10 out of 10 recommend if you're emotionally ready. <laughs> My personal style is definitely ever changing. I love looking at old photos because I was the preppiest. I went to a Catholic school, so like never, I never rolled up my skirt. I was very proud of myself. You know, now I have a, I have a large binder on my phone called Aesthetic, and it's everything from musicians I love to old like archival photos to quotes. Any of those could easily be the inspiration for one of the looks. 18 by 18 is my midterm election initiative and it's nonpartisan because midterms aren't often stressed, especially for our generation, as something to participate in. But this year in particular, with everything that we want to fix and change in the world, it will be so extremely important and affect presidential elections. You want to kill him in the name of all your lying little moralities. And you, you are immoral. You are by far the most immoral man I'd ever met in my life. Thank you.